Dark Side Phil, and welcome to the very special holiday 2011 edition of the Week in Preview. And uh, everyone getting into the festive spirit, this is it. This week we have Christmas coming up, and of course the following week, New Year's. So lots of holidays being celebrated at this time. Not just Christmas, of course. Everyone from you know Hanukkah to Kwanzaa to all the holidays that we celebrate this time of year, I do just want to express a very happy holidays to all of my viewers and fans. And uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to do what we usually do. We're going to review what I've done over the past week. We are going to preview what I'm doing this particular week. And this is a special week because there's going to be some special things going on and beginning this week that usually are not normally things that I do, uh, you know, during the normal course of me doing this uh, as a full-time thing. So let's get to it. First of all, this past week, a lot has gone down. And so I'm going to review it, but then we're going to kind of talk a little bit more on a serious note about some of the stuff that's been going on, especially with the U.S. government. And, uh, and we're going to go from there because that's going to lead into what's coming up this week for some really important stuff that's been going on, okay? So this past week, what did I do? Well, played a lot of games. Um, I played a little bit more Skyrim uh, so that people who were dying to see more of that game, I know. Skyrim, one of the longest games I've ever played, if not going to be the longest game I've ever played. An extremely enjoyable game, it's an addictive game, and it's a game that I want to give enough time to, and therefore that's why I have not rushed through it. I have been taking my time just playing the game at my own pace and doing what I want in the game. I'm almost up to 200 parts of that game at this point, and I'm not even close to beating it yet. In my opinion, that's a great fucking thing, okay? So, <clears throat> had some Skyrim footage, there will be more of that, but we'll get to that. Um... Zelda Skyward Sword, I'm happy to say I finally beat it this week, I completed it. That was just under 200 parts when I actually beat it. I believe it added up to something like 36 or 37 hours of gameplay. So, you can check out that playthrough here on DSP Gaming. I also did do a Hateful Truth game review of the game. And to be honest, I'm a little surprised because I think a lot of people wanted me to review the game. And the, the review, it did okay, it has about 30,000 views right now, but I kind of expected a little bit more than that. Um, because there seemed to be so much interest, but it is what it is, uh, and I was honest about the game, so if you really want to know the bottom line about Zelda Skyward Sword, you know that my Hateful Truth game reviews are extremely honest, and you're going to want to check that out. Uh, and then the other major occurrence YouTube-wise this week uh, was that I actually changed over to the new YouTube channel's layout uh, about midway through the week. I've been keeping my eye on it, farting around a little bit with it during the week, trying to learn this new layout. And finally I did, and over the week I've tweaked a few things. I actually made two tutorial videos for those who are trying to get used to this new channel layout or uh, are a little bit scared to adapt to it because you don't know too much about it. Watch my tutorials. I think they're going to be extremely helpful for you, okay? Um, again, a little bit weird that they only have about ten to 15,000 views on them each, but... That's another thing I want to talk about. What's happened this week with YouTube is there's been an insane amount of bugs going on with it. Uh, ever since they've started switching over to all this new channel layout, there's a new video page, there's all new things that have been happening, and there's a lot of bugs that are going on. And just in particular, some of them are video counts are all screwed up, okay? It seems like videos, are the, the view counts on them update completely randomly at random times, and no one can really figure out why. Sometimes they're stuck for days. Sometimes they work right away. So it's really weird right now what's going on with that. Uh, there were some bugs on the new video page where you couldn't see just comments. It was really weird. You would click one thing and it would bring you somewhere else that you didn't click. You'd be like, what is that? Uh, there's still an ongoing bug with ad enabling, with in particular with my stuff. I'm having a lot of problems because I can't enable ads on, like, say, 10 videos that I queue up to upload at once. I can only enable ads on the first video, and then after that they all error out or don't save properly. So I literally have to sit at my computer when I'm uploading videos, and after every video finishes uploading, I have to manually click a button and tell it, yes, please enable ads. It's very frustrating for me. But the bottom line is there's a lot of bugs going on with YouTube over this past week, and they're still continuing into this week. I fully expect they will continue. So if weird things are happening when you're on YouTube, it's probably not you. It's probably YouTube being messed up right now during this whole time of transition to their new format. On Saturday, uh, John Rambo came over. We filmed a new episode of Smart Guys, which is up on his ch channel, John Rambo Presents. We filmed six... Uh, I like to say simulation matches in WWE 12, where we basically simulated the TLC pay-per-view, Tables, Ladders, Jerry's pay-per-view, that's going to happen 
Sunday of this week, which I'm actually recording this a half an hour before it starts at 8 p.m. It's probably won't be uploaded until later that this night, or maybe you won't even see it till Monday. But we simulated the entire pay-per-view, and those matches are up, and we did our own commentary over those matches, to which people said their matches are freaking hilarious. Some of the random stuff that happens in WWE 12 is fucking funny. And they said our commentary was really good, so check that out. And then we completed the Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary Co-op playthrough here on DSP Gaming. And so that game is now finally done. Put a cork in it. Finished off. Very nice. So what's going to come up this week? Because there's a lot of interesting stuff coming up this week. This is a special holiday week. So I want to mention to everyone what exactly will be coming up. Well, what I plan to do is have it... <clears throat> have a balanced combination of time spent. So what I'm going to plan on doing is probably two to three hours a day I'll be playing Skyrim, because I want to keep playing Skyrim, having a lot of fun with it. And by the way, there is a limitation on YouTube for playlists that you can't have more than 200 videos in a playlist. So just to warn everyone in advance, once I hit video 200 of Skyrim, I'm going to have to start a new playlist for parts 200 on. So expect that you're going to see, see a second playlist for Skyrim on my DSP Gaming page. So anyway... Um, I'm going to be playing some Skyrim every day, and then I'm going to be spending the other half of the day working on my year-end video series. Now, what I'm going to be working on first, this is exciting because I kind of came up with this last minute, even though it is something I've done every year previous, I wasn't necessarily going to do it this year, but then I had some really good ideas. I'm going to do the top five worst gaming trends of 2011. And the reason that I'm calling them trends and not gaming moments is because these really are ongoing things that have kind of happened or patterns or, or just issues that have been going on during 2011. And I don't want to call them necessarily a moment because it wasn't just one particular thing. But you'll see what I mean once that video series starts. So that's going to be coming this week. And also I'm going to start my top 10 funniest gaming moments of 2011 as voted by you the fans if you're not aware there is this is your very very last chance to vote in the polls for the top 10 funniest gaming moments there are three threads currently up on the king of hate.com in my dsp's playthrough section of the forums go there vote for your favorites there's three threads with 10 selections each you can vote uh, for as many as you want you don't have to only pick one you can vote for as many of them as you want that you think are really funny and Sometime this week, I will be closing off that poll, tallying up the votes, and beginning that video series. So those are going to be the two top ten series that you're going to see start this week. Now, don't worry. If your choice for one of the funniest moments didn't make it into the top ten, I'm still going to showcase several of these moments during this video series, outside of just what was voted the top ten. And I may even do another montage, like I usually do, showing the funniest stuff uh, of the year uh, at the end of the series. So we'll see how that goes. So, Skyrim, and then year-end video series. You're going to see some of each every day, so you have variety, something for everyone. On Friday will be a very special day. John Rambo is going to be coming over a day early. Usually he comes over on Saturday, but since that's Christmas Eve and it's a holiday, he's going to come over Friday night. <clears throat> and we are going to possibly film an episode of Smart Guys, but we haven't decided yet simply because all that will have happened is the TLC pay-per-view Monday Night Raw and... Ring of Honor web show. That's all we'll have seen by then. We wouldn't have seen SmackDown uh, or the Ring of Honor pay-per-view final battle that are going to happen that Friday night. Um, and being that the pay-per-view is going to, you know, we're going to be, what, till like 11 o'clock at night and then we wouldn't have time to watch that and SmackDown and film Smart Guys. So we might or might not do Smart Guys. We may skip it for the holiday week. We're going to talk about that and figure that one out, okay? But he's going to come over and we're going to do some gameplay. Haven't decided yet what it's going to be. We have a couple ideas, some holiday, holiday, holiday excuse me, themed things that we've been bouncing around in our heads, but that's not necessarily what we're going to do. We're not positive what we're going to be playing on Friday, but you will see new co-op game footage from us on Friday. On Saturday, it's Christmas Eve. It's a holiday, and I'm going to spend the majority of day with my parents, so what I may end up doing is doing a little bit of Skyrim before I get into the you know, the holiday stuff, and then I'll be busy for the rest of that day. Similar thing with Christmas Day. Christmas Day, typically, I'm going to spend at least half the day with my family, and therefore, I'm probably going to maybe do very limited footage that day if I do anything. There may be some crazy stuff coming up that I'm not, you know, that I might think of last moment. Sometimes, on Christmas, I do do fan appreciation, and let's face it, I've not played really a lot of Modern Warfare 3. I haven't played it in quite a while. Maybe I'll do some fan appreciation of that. I don't know. I know a lot of people will probably be getting Modern Warfare 3 on Christmas Day and might want to do something like that. might be interested. 
So I will let everyone know as that approaches and if I have any ideas on what I'm going to be doing for that. And then, picking up on Monday, uh, obviously there will be another weekend preview by then anyway, but I'm going to pick up again with Skyrim and then year-end videos. Keep in mind, I still have to do my favorite music remixes of 2011, and I also have to do my top 10 best games of 2011. So there's a lot of stuff coming up with the year-end videos that I think people will enjoy. I'm not going to rush them, though. If I can only get out one or two a day, that's fine. I'll do one or two a day and then play some Skyrim. And again, that way there's some variety and it's building up and people are going to enjoy that stuff. So I'm, I'm really excited about this week. Now, one more thing we need to talk about. And this is very important. So if you're still watching the video, I urge you, please. You know all those people that say on the video, Oh, well, Phil starts talking about this next week at the 10-minute mark. Put a tag right now. Whatever the time is right now, Phil starts talking about important... SOPA, PIPA, internet censorship things, because you need to hear this information, okay? Here's what's happened over the past week with the U.S. government. During Thursday and Friday, the committee who is dealing with the SOPA bill, which is the Stop Online Piracy Act, that's proposing that the U.S. government can censor the internet, okay, for what they feel are copyright-infringing websites, to the point where these websites would be blacklisted by ISP. So they could send your internet service provider, Comcast, Cablevision, Verizon, AT&T, whoever you use to get internet, they could send them a notice saying, we think that this site may have infringing content and you must take it down. And they will have to take down that website. Meaning, if, you're, if I was here and I have Cablevision for my Optimum Online as my internet service, if I typed in this website, I would not be able to get to it no matter what I did. And this is what the, they're proposing to do with our government. It's insane. It's the most broadly worded censorship act in human history. And it's just absurd that they're thinking of doing this. And it almost passed this week. They almost got this bill to leave committee and go to an open vote in Congress this week. Luckily, the people who are against the bill have been really pounding pounding hard and saying, no, we're not going to let it pass like it is. It's too broad. You have way too much power with this bill. And they keep proposing amendments to this bill to change it and make it not as powerful, not as broad, not give the government this insane amount of power. Okay? Well, everyone thought we were safe because they actually ran out of time on Friday and they had to adjourn their session in the committee of discussing these bills and there was no vote on the bill. So we thought, oh, maybe we're safe until 2012. Maybe they're adjourning for the holidays. Then all of a sudden there was a special announcement that this coming Wednesday, December 21st, they will be re-adjourning, or I'm sorry, re... Not adjourning, adjourning means to end. Re... whatever they call it. They're coming back together to discuss this bill again because they want to try to get a vote on this before the holiday recess, which means, you know, they have, what, Wednesday, Thursday? I'm sure Friday they can't be in session. So they probably have another two days to try to figure this out. It's worrying, it's very scary, but at the same time, what's come out of these discussions, okay, in Congress is that this bill supposedly, and I say supposedly because, again, when a, a law is worded broadly, it can be interpreted in any way it wants to be interpreted. That's the problem with this law. That's why people are afraid that it's going to get passed in its current form. But what the lawmakers are saying is the intention of the law is only to regulate foreign websites that are basically doing like downloads and uploads of illegal content that has been stolen. So they're talking music, movies. I'll tell you exactly who they're talking about. They're talking about the Pirates Bay. They're talking about other websites that I know of that stream pay-per-views, for example. Some people, you know, tonight they're not going to watch the WWE pay-per-view on TV. They're going to go to one of these illegal websites and watch it get streamed over the internet for free. That's the kind of stuff that apparently, apparently, this is what they're saying, this bill is going to affect. They've actually come out, these lawmakers, and said specifically, we are not intending that this law will affect YouTube in any way. Okay, that's great, but the problem is the law is worded so broadly, all it's going to take is one asshole, one asshole, to serve papers and say, I think YouTube has illegal infringing content, and then they could go to court, and this could become... A major issue because that's how broadly the, the, the bill is worded so I'll be following this issue all week when more information becomes available on the 21st and further on this week I will be giving you updates video updates on what's going on with this in the government I want to say everyone relax don't freak out because at least at the very least 
The government is saying they have a target for why they're creating this law, and they're not going to be going after everyone in some crazy manner, you know, an overzealous manner. Oh, people who play video games are going to go to jail. Oh, and, and YouTube's going to get shut down. They're not saying that at all. They're saying they have a particular group of people who are, are been stealing forever, and that's who they want to target with this law. Okay, it's, I still don't agree with it. I still don't agree with internet censorship, but at least for our purposes, for people who are doing stuff on YouTube, it seems like it's not going to be that big of an issue, but we're still going to follow it. I'm still going to give you more information. What, if the, the worst thing you can do right now is start spreading misinformation. I see people leaving comments. I see people posting on Twitter, it passed. The internet's done. Oh my God. It didn't pass. All right. It's not even a committee. What has to happen is that this committee that they're debating this bill in has to agree. Once they finally agree on the final form of the bill, then the bill will go up for a vote to the entire, <clears throat> excuse me, the entire House of Representatives, and then, then, it has to be approved by the other side, which is the, the, uh, the Senate, then it has to go to Obama, where he can either sign it into law or veto it. So there's several steps still coming. Even if they do get it out of committee this week, there's a chance they won't even get touched again until 2012, if not much later into 2012. So relax, okay? I'm on top of it. Anything that happens with this bill, I will let everyone know uh, exactly what's going on. I'm going to be following it a lot this week. Keep in mind, you can follow me on Twitter at they call me DSP, and if there is information, I usually tweet it up there as well. So. Stay tuned this week. A lot of good stuff coming up with Skyrim and the year-end videos. Potentially some bad stuff with this bill, even though it may not be as bad as we first thought, because they're, they're kind of promising everyone, listen, we're not going after, uh, you know, U.S. websites like YouTube that everyone uses. We're going after these entities that are outside of the U.S. that we haven't been able to, to stop for quite a long time. This is what we're really using this bill to target. But it's still censorship. It's still dangerous, and I don't agree with it. And that's why I think we should all still pay attention to it, okay? So that's what's coming up this week. A lot of content. I'm excited because I get to play a game that I really like a lot more. Plus, I get to work on my video series at the end of the year, which I always enjoy doing. So I'm really excited. Plus, what the hell? It's Christmas this weekend. Everyone's getting festive. Everyone's getting into the mood. So I'm excited. Thanks a lot for everyone who has made this an amazing year. Um, and uh, we can only look to more, as you know, bigger and better things in the future with Project 7, with a lot of other ideas that I've been working on that uh, I think are really going to turn out to be really great things in the future. But um, one last plug, obviously, Project 7, if you haven't seen it yet, watch my MAGFest 2012 announcement trailer and watch all the Project 7 videos that I've now uploaded into a playlist onto my DSP Gaming channel. It's my new web series starring myself, John Rambo, Howard. We're doing this big we're going to do it, uh, it's coming in 2012, we're debuting it at MAGFest. Information on MAGFest, go to magfest.org. We're going to be there probably Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because it is such a great event. <coughs> if you can make it, definitely go. Check it out. Okay? That's it for the weekend preview. Enough plugs from me. I'll see you for more gaming footage this week and for the year-end videos. Happy holidays to everyone. Merry Christmas. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Hanukkah. Happy... Festivus for the rest of us, and whatever the hell it is you celebrate, I hope you have a lot of fun this week. Stay safe, and I'll see you for more gameplay footage. Thanks a lot.